I got another package from Japan and there's lots of goodies in here. Let's take a closer look at what I bought and how much it cost. Everything in this package and this Game Boy Advance SP were all purchased from the same seller. This all came in the same package, but I've been slowly working on rebuilding this Game Boy Advance SP. The other day I put a brand new link port on this because this one is pretty rusted. I also had no idea if this Game Boy Advance SP was even going to start. Everything in this package was 110 US dollars and I think it was one hell of a deal. If you've been watching my channel, you know I really like this store on eBay. This guy's got a lot of good deals on old consoles and I've been buying a few things from his store. I recently bought a 3DS from him and he gave me such a good deal on a new 3DS LL that I bought one too. I highly recommend checking out his store and watching for deals because he's definitely got a lot of them coming in here and there. I've been kind of interested in maybe getting a Switch Lite and I noticed he's got a few good deals on those. If you're looking for a 3DS or a couple projects, definitely check out his store. This guy also offers excellent customer service. I didn't even notice this go up in his store. He knows that I was looking for some Game Boy Advances and some Game Boys in general. I asked him before I bought the 3DS if he had any on hand, but he only had bundles. So I received a message from him one day saying, hey, I know you were looking for some Game Boys. Did you want these ones that I were going up for sale? I asked him about the price and he told me and I was like, heck yeah, I'll take those. He sent me the link and I bought these. Everything here was 110 US dollars and that was delivered with FedEx. I did pay about 20 Canadian in import charges, but I still think everything was a good deal. I essentially bought these for their value and this was just thrown in as an added bonus. The SP here had no battery in it and I had no idea if this even worked. There was a lot of rust on it and the condition wasn't that great. But I wanted to grab it anyways because I'm pretty sure I can get this working again. If you look really closely, you can see how worn out this thing is. I did put a brand new link port on there, but I didn't notice that it was slightly bent at the top until I already put it on. That was one hell of a project. I also grabbed all the replacement parts that I'm going to need from Funny Playing, and I put a battery in there from Funny Playing just to test it out, and miraculously, it turned on. There's a little bit of mold under the screen though, so this thing is definitely going to need a new shell and a new panel. The plastic is also really worn out. This device definitely needs some repairs, but this is going to be another video. If you want to see me refurb this Game Boy Advance SP, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Let's set this aside and see what else I got in the package. As with all his items, he sends a nice little note and a little paper crane. I think little things like this definitely add to the experience. It's also really nice because he offers discounts to repeat customers, so if the more you buy from his store, the better prices you're going to get. I'm really excited to see what I bought, so let's take a look. The first thing in the box is this Game Boy Advance, and it's a black one. Let's open this up and see if it works. The black Game Boy is in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of a smear on the screen lens, but overall I think this is going to make a really nice restoration project. The back is in good shape and it also comes with the battery door. The battery door is not worn out either. There's no corrosion on the battery terminals, and this side looks good too. The label is also still intact and that's really nice to see because these usually are pretty scuffy. Let's put some batteries in it and see if it works. I'm going to say this is going to work. Let's check it out. So it works perfect. Let's try a game in there to see if a game works. I got my copy of Mario 3 in there. Let's see if it loads it. Speaker works. Let's turn down the volume a little. And the game works right away. So yeah, this one works good. Let's set this aside and take a look at what else I got. And the other item I got in the package was another Game Boy Advance. There's a little bit of yellowing on the bumpers, but I think this is going to be another restoration project. If you know a good Game Boy Advance kit, make sure to let me know in the comments below. This one also comes with another battery door, but it's a little different. And the case is also in pretty good condition on the back. Oh, that's actually one of those rechargeable batteries. I've never seen one of these before. It's kind of cool. I'm going to set this aside, let's try with some fresh double A's. I got some batteries in there, and a game, let's see if it starts up. No. Oh, there it goes. Let's turn down that speaker. I don't know why these were at max volume. Yeah, this one works too. Nice. Cool, I'm going to set that aside, let's check out the last thing we got in the box. The last thing in the box is this little package. And there's a cool Pokemon game in there. 
take a look at that. Looks like he threw in an OEM adapter for the Game Boy Advance. And this is in pretty good shape too. I did not expect to see this in the box. I'm not sure if these were always black. Maybe it had some repairs done or maybe that's stock, I don't know. Was this always black or did it match the gray? The plug looks okay too. Nice. Kind of cool to see this. I didn't expect to get that. Let's see what else we got. And the last thing in the box is a Japanese copy of Pokemon Gold. And this is in really good condition. I didn't expect to see the label this nice. It's kind of neat too how the Japanese copies of Gold and Silver had a dual case design like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's try this to see if it works. I'm going to guess that it works. Let's turn it on and check it out. First time, no issues whatsoever. I actually own a copy of Pokemon Silver, but it's in really bad shape. And it's the Japanese copy as well, so I'm kind of looking at restoring that in a future video. I thought that might be fun. What do you guys think of my little eBay bundle? I think this is a pretty good deal. For 110 US dollars, having two Game Boy Advances and an SP seemed like a hell of a deal, and I had to grab it. I want to restore these in future videos, so if you know any good kits for them, make sure to let me know. I already have a kit for the SP, and I'm still waiting for a few parts before I start that project. I'm not sure what I want to do with these Game Boy Advances yet, so if you know a good kit for those, make sure to let me know. Have you guys bought a Game Boy Advance or a Game Boy Advance SP recently, and what did you pay for it? It's always fun collecting Japanese copies of games too, and I really like these Pokemon ones. I think the cover art looks amazing. Anyways, this was a fun little video. I just wanted to show kind of my little purchase I got from eBay. I want to restore these, and I've been having a lot of fun fixing up old Game Boys. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos, and as always, thanks for watching.